All right, guys, so here's some training footage. I'm um, doing 635 for three reps. Um, so I'm basically preparing right now for uh, APF Myrtle Beach uh, Senior Nationals. Um, basically, I'm doing two workouts a day during this cycle because I only have about four weeks since my last meet. So I feel in order to get any type of gains at all, kind of need to um, double up the process of work. And then here I am doing uh, some hip thrusters with 315. So it's been a pretty grueling, you know, so far it's been two and a half weeks. I'm um, in these two a days. My body's getting pretty banged up. Um, and then here I am just walking out 635, um, kind of doing like a three quarter squat with it also. I believe I did three reps here. So I'm basically going like heavy in the morning and then light in the evening and then on some days I'm doing cardio in the morning and then um, like a speed day in the evening. Kind of alternating it up uh, three to four times a week. So basically I heard about this new process called cryotherapy and it's probably just in the nick of time. Um, as I said, my body's feeling like really banged up after doing these two a days um, for almost three weeks now. Um, so this is me basically getting ready to head over to the uh, facility. Got there, had to fill out a short application. Um, this is the inside of the facility, the front door. Um, that's actually the owner right there. Really nice lady. Um, so the first thing you do is you sit down and they take your blood pressure and you know, make sure your blood pressure is not high. And then after that, um, then one more thing, um, took your blood pressure. Oh, uh, took your resting heart rate as well. Um, and then after that, this is just basically the cryo sauna. I'm just kind of showing you the inside of it. So after you take your arresting heart rate and blood pressure, um, you're going to go into the changing room. And if you don't have on cloth underwear for men, you have to put a, just put a sock on. Um, that's a scale. It's right next to the cryo sauna. And then back here, this is actually the, um, the rest and recovery room. So they've got a roar uh, as well as a stationary um, a bike roar. Um, and then this is actually okay. uh, me inside of the cryo sauna. Is a so if at any time you want to stop, just say stop. Don't tell me why, just say stop, and I'll let you out, let you down, keep your room, get out. Every push of nitrogen that comes out, you're going to do a small rotation. On TV, you'll see the ones that go around and around, we'll do that. Just do small rotations. Okay, you ready? Yep. All right, let's do it. See how the clock is? You don't want to breathe that deep in. Okay. The next verse, I want you to turn your face. Okay. And then the next verse. Okay. Is it cold, Damon? <laughs> okay, go ahead and turn towards him. Smile. You want me to get a little bit of the steam or? How you feeling? Feeling good? good? Yep. Are you any dizzy at all? No. All right, good. Okay, go ahead and turn towards the door. Slow turn. Keep your thumbs up, tiptoes, and lean your chin back and take a deep breath. There you go. So you're at negative 140. Negative 150, and that's about where I'm going to keep you. All right. Oh, wow. And you've got one minute left. How are you doing? All right. Good. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> you were the <a> croc. <laughs>
Huh? Alright, now turn towards the doors, please. Chin up, tiptoes, take a deep breath. There we go. See that shiver? That's the body telling you that you're really cold and all your blood's going to your core. You're almost done. You've got 30 seconds. How are you doing? Can you take it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I can't do it. Yes, you can. No, I can't. So, it does not hurt at all. Alright. His lips are shivering. <laughs> well, of course. Okay. When you go snow skiing, your lips shiver. 12 seconds. Turn towards me. Tip toes. Look up. Breathe in. There you go. You're all done. You can put on. I'm going to talk to you the whole time that you put on your robe. And then when you're ready to get out and you're dressed, just say go. And I will open the door. How much time did it take? Two and a half minutes. His peak was 150. That's probably where we're going to be. Probably about a minute and a half. <laughs> I think, well, they're not saying. What? Most people can do like three minutes at 180, 170. Who does it? I don't, you ready? I think. Yep. No. Okay. All right. So go ahead and get changed. And then jump on the machine and get her in the recovery room. Now that was pretty awesome, right? This is something I definitely recommend for all of my clients to do at least once. Definitely something everybody should do at least once in your lifetime. So this was immediately following that. You know, before I was all sore, like my muscles were aching. I'm talking about by the time I left this facility and drove back to the gym, my body was totally rejuvenated. I had all this great energy, so what do I do? I go and start working out. I hit some box jumps, um, pull-ups, different things like that. Uh, so basically, what it does is it helps with your recovery and endurance. Um, it supposed to increases your energy levels, um, even increasing your metabolism. Um, as I've heard, in the few hours after, you can burn up to 800 calories. 